Have you ever had a stomach ache that was more than just a stomach ache? You're running through lists in your head. Was it something you ate? Was it a food allergy? Maybe you got sick from something else. Maybe you're thinking right now, yes, I've been there. I've had those same questions when I had that really bad stomach ache. Well, keep watching because I'm going to tell you when a stomach ache may be more than just a simple stomach ache. And it could be a sign of something more serious. Howdy y'all, Dr. Islam here, AKA your poop guru, trying to give you the best tips and tricks to help out with your health and to help you from the very top all the way down to your bottom. Now in today's video, we're gonna discuss C. diff. Yes, C. diff. In this video, I'm gonna tell you four things you need to know about C. diff. And number three, may be very important to somebody in your family. Guys, let's talk about poop. So I have a patient named Dina. She was a 51 year old female going throughout her day. She had some sort of sinus infection, got some antibiotics from her PCP, then all of a sudden she had raging diarrhea. She could not even leave her house. It was profuse diarrhea 10 to 20 times per day. It got to the point where she was hospitalized because she was so dehydrated from all that diarrhea. She was initially diagnosed with IBS, tried different treatments, nothing made it better. She came to see me, we did some routine stool testing, and she was diagnosed with C. diff. So what exactly is C. diff? C. diff stands for Clostroides difficile, which is a bacterial infection that typically can colonize your colon to cause massive amounts of diarrhea. It is so bad that patients have to be hospitalized because of dehydration. Now normally, you can have C. diff inside your colon and not cause problems. It can be part of the normal colonization of your colon. But there are some triggers for some individuals in which that normal bacteria can overwhelm the GI tract to cause massive amounts of diarrhea. So what exactly causes C. diff? The most common cause is getting an antibiotic. And this is very important because we have to be very careful if we give an antibiotic to make sure we give it for the right reason. Now, I'm not wanting to tell you, no, don't ever get an antibiotic because antibiotics have changed the course of medicine. However, I would stress that a lot of us get antibiotics for unnecessary reasons, whether it's a viral infection, a common cold or things like that. That is a very common reason to get C. diff. Another reason, you could be in a nursing home, you get it from a hospital, and you actually may get it from somebody you love as well. So what are the main symptoms of C. diff? Well, I mentioned before, massive amounts of diarrhea. This is not the routine, ah, I got the occasional diarrhea, it goes away. This is 10, 15 times per day. It wakes you up in the middle of the night. You have pain, cramping. It smells really, really bad. It has a particular smell. All of my patients who've had C. diff have told me, yes, C. diff has a particular smell. And trust me, I smelt it. It is not a pleasant smell. But you can also have loss of appetite, weakness, feeling fatigue, just feeling miserable overall. So here are four things you need to know today about C. diff. Number one, be careful what you touch. Now the most common reason to get C. diff is to get it from antibiotics. However, C. diff is one of those hardy, strong spores or bacteria that can be in surfaces for quite some time. So make sure you clean your bathrooms, clean your house, disinfect appropriately, especially if you have somebody in your house who's had C. diff. Hey, I hope you're getting great value from this video. If you haven't already, don't forget to smash that like button and comment down below. Number two, C. diff is tough. Now this is a hoss of a bacteria. It is rough, it is tough, and it can survive so many different things outside. This is why whenever you treat C. diff, we give very strong medications to get rid of it and to minimize it. Number three, if you're over 65, be careful. Over half of the people who pass away or die from C. diff are over 65 years old. And number four, what can cause C. diff can actually cure it. So I told you the most common cause are antibiotics. Well, guess what can cure C. diff? More antibiotics. Yes, we have specially made antibiotics that can be used to eradicate the infection, get rid of it, and provide cure. And if that doesn't work, we have the option of doing a fecal transplant. Yes, actually putting somebody else's stool inside the colon to recolonize it. And this works effectively for those individuals who have failed medical or antibiotic therapy. So how exactly can you make yourself safer from getting C. diff or to protect yourself from C. diff? Here are four tips I recommend. Number one, do not take unnecessary antibiotics. If you're going to take an antibiotic for something, make sure you have a clear indication for that. It's a bacterial infection. It's not a virus. It's not a cold. 
Make sure you have a clear reason why you're taking an antibiotic. Number two, use bleach-based products when cleaning surfaces. This has been shown to get rid of those C. diff spores and to eradicate the infection. Number three, most important thing you can do today is wash your hands. Yes, use soap and water, sing yourself happy birthday, and rub those hands clean. This is the most effective thing you can do to prevent the spread of C. diff, but also protect yourself and your family from this terrible infection. So here's what I want you to do today. Get in the habit of washing your hands. Now hand sanitizers are okay, but they're not the best. Good old hand washing with soap and water, sing yourself happy birthday, rub those fingers dry and clean. This is going to be the most effective thing you can do today to prevent C. diff. It's fast, it's easy, and it actually works. Start doing this today, and this will protect you from getting this infection. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to smash that like button, like, share, and subscribe. And if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe to our weekly newsletter where you can get great tips and tricks like you're learning in today's video. Hope you guys have a happy and healthy day. Don't forget, let's talk about poop. Thanks, guys.